recently though dating Demi Lovato. Demi and I. There aren't photos been... of you making out in public. You can't deny that. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're right. I can't take those back. Um, no, but you know, I got. I have tell to you. ask the real questions though, Wilmer. No, no, I listen. I... She's 19, mm -hmm. and at the time you were 31. Yeah. What does a 19 year old have to do dating a 31? Or what is a 31 year old doing dating a 19 year old? You know, it wasn't. It wasn't even. It wasn't even like that. It was just. It was a really interesting time. For her and well, you were us. really there for her too. Yeah, she was going um, through her we stuff. Were, we were really just best friends, and and to be honest, I you know, I, I couldn't be more proud of her. Um, I'm, she's I'm a really, lovely girl. I love she's, her. She's amazing. She's a she's a great human being, and and I'm so proud of her. You know, considering all the different uh, obstacles and everything she's been through, uh, I mean, she's got a pretty good handle on it. Obviously, like she says, it's gonna be a struggle every day, um, but I was very proud to be there for for her when she. Um, and she needed me, and she was there for me a number of times too. And and uh, we have we have a great friendship. And, You're still you know, on yeah. good terms. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. She's she's definitely something very special to me. Now, <laughs> I saved the best for last, right? Of course, of course. At your birthday party, there was one of your ex girlfriends there, Mandy Moore. Yeah. Yeah, Mandy and I are also super close friends. I mean, we've been even after that whole Howard Stern incident. And well, everything. that was such a moment in time, man. <laughs> that was such a moment in time. And uh, to be honest, I I um. It's hard to say because you know when in in life I've you know I've I've learned so much and I've been able to understand uh, that um, you know some things are uh, some things are just not funny and and I understood also you know that the media and the sources you know have really have an amazing way of of morphing and paraphrasing and and doing things and, and making and making unnecessary headlines for things that really weren't just. A big deal, but aside from anything else, you know, I, I was very uh, excited to understand who I really was and who I really wasn't, and 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 really be centered again. And and look, it's a big tribute to, to who my true friends are, who know who I really am, and and um, who you are as someone who can be friends with their ex girlfriends. Yeah, I mean, because a lot of people have no desire to be friends yeah, with people they've dated in the past. You know, I I look at it like this, man. If you if you loved ones and if you cared ones, you'd never really stop. And um, and if you build a true foundation, a true friendship, that never really goes away. And I think it's important. I mean, as for all the young people out there getting into relationships, you know, get into the relationship for the right reason because it's a great support system, because it's because it's a great complement to your life, because it's someone that actually fulfills you and makes you happy. <clears throat> because when it ends, at the very least, you could say you did absolutely everything possible to make something work. And, and you can have that peace of mind. And that's only when you're always able to be good friends with these people that were so special to you at that very moment in your life. Uh, well, what about Lindsay Lohan? That was not, you, are you in touch with her? Is you know, she um, someone that you're on friendly terms with? No, or we're, we're in friendly terms. You know, I, you know. She that means no, you're not. No, 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 I am. <laughs> I promise you, I totally am. I promise you, I totally am. You know, I mean, and I, I just, I think that she's been through a roller coaster that's taking her away from certain people in her life, you know, and I think that I was one of those people that I was just not present for anything she she experienced, you know. But um, she seems to be doing better now. I, I think so and I hope so and you know I, I hope that she embraces her, her ninth life right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that and that she does the right thing. And I think that, you know, I have got a chance to talk to her recently in the last couple of months and, and um, she's in very good spirits and she wants to work man and I think she's one of the most talented girls period and She's gonna, you know, you're gonna remember this conversation. She's gonna one day pop up in an incredible movie with an amazing performance, and we like you completely forget everything. Yeah, you know, people love how, a comeback. The industry. Yeah, they love to build you up, tear you down, build you up. It's like a cycle, and it's a, it's, it's part of that cycle. And Wilmer is not only friends with his exes. He's friends with the exes of his exes. <laughs> At your Vegas birthday party was Joe Jonas. Yeah, he's he's a cool guy, man. He's very you cool. and Joe Jonas are friends. Yeah, I mean we're 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 really cool. He's you know he's, uh, he's one of my bros. You know, and it was I mean look, it's so funny. I think that when you are open minded in the, in the world and you are at a place in your life, and not only spiritually but socially, where you're very comfortable with not only yourself and and who you are. There's absolutely nothing weird about embracing another human being that has some kind of story or, or history that intertwined with yours at one point. And I think that if you're very secure about who you are, there's no reason why 
people should embrace the moment. And we shared a moment, and it was fun, and he's a cool guy. Uh, um, you were on uh, Laura Prepon's show recently. Yeah. You're a former 70s show co-star for her. She is killing it. I'm, yeah. I, mean, I couldn't be more proud that of her. whole cast, really. Yeah. It's been, it was an amazing cast. Yeah, we, we got lucky. I think that I, I think that uh, Tom Warner um, made a really... Um, Tom Warner and Marcy Carr, seeing Bonnie and Terry Turner, who are the creators and producers of the Savage Show. And Savage Roseanne. Show. Roseanne. Lots of Stable, shows. Um, mm. Torah from the Sun and all that. And they gave us some amazing advice. They said, save your money. Good um, advice. And at number one, you know, realize you have time for everything. You know? So last last question, you know, you've done so much. Is there anything that you haven't done yet that you want to do? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like um, what? I um. What about Eduardo Fresca? Really? I was just album? about to tell really? you that. Yes. <laughs> I was just about to tell you that. Um, as you guys, uh, some of you guys know, and I'm sure you know, Perez, uh, Perez uh, fans uh, definitely experienced uh, the wrath of Eduardo Fresco at one point. Um, you know, I I had I had uh, the pleasure of, of of talking to uh, Perez before I did any of this, and um, and it, it was music is something that has been um, really. Uh, uh, really part of my life my whole life I've been singing and dancing since I was six years old but acting just evolved faster than um, and I'm excited to to visit that that arena and do some so music. it's gonna be more in the comedy vein though well I mean, as that character as I, was, I was as I was embracing Eduardo Fresco and this character who has a music video out and all that and I'm gonna probably release a few more songs as well Fresco there they, I have some in the can that are really fun and funny I also wanted to do some stuff that I could do um, Serious and, and so I could tell some. I think I see. I have a lane for you. You, I, I think you should be starting off doing Spanish language stuff. I agree. And it could be like that Prince Royce, um, uh, Romeo Santos. Yeah, lane. Yes, yes. I, I mean that lane would be good. Yeah, you're hitting the it ladies on the love it. You're and, it on the head. And the it's nail. like I don't think you should be trying to do dance or urban stuff. No, no, I think no. it should be that like that's too easy. Prince Royce, um, Romeo Santos, that lane. Yeah, and you know what? I'm a, I'm, I'm the idea uh, man. Honestly, that's actually great advice. Uh, <laughs> it but is. I, but I'm, I'm thinking that that that's a um, that's something I really want to embrace. And, and when it comes to the music, cool. oh, I'm I'm talking to. You know some amazing people like um, you know ran a bunch of stuff by um, you know by uh, by Enrique and by Ricky Martin and Ooh. everybody and, like, <laughs> and, they're, and they're really supportive and all that and then we seen again there they're also really imp uh, important to me yeah, too very and, cool um, but I think you're right I mean and for me that that's the exclusive I can give you guys here there you go that, is More that um, be, be the, on the lookout everybody yeah, look at it and you'll definitely probably see it here on Perez first yeah that's for sure well thank you Thanks. and bye.